Today, uh, Stephen Harper has been under the microscope ever since his office has been under police scrutiny. And now conservative backbenchers plan to put Harper under even more pressure. These MPs are joining others with growing concern about the conduct of the Prime Minister's office. Ontario MP Michael Chong, who quit cabinet in 2006 over Harper's heavy hand, will join other conservative MPs to introduce legislation that limits the power of the Prime Minister and his office, but strengthens the power of caucus to eject the Prime Minister if necessary. If passed, it would not take effect until after the next election, but the mere introduction sends a signal of discontent within the Tory backbench, which has forced the front bench to defend Harper. This Prime Minister is the most democratic in Canadian history. The RCMP alleges a dozen people close to Harper concocted a secret deal to pay Duffy's expenses, then tried to cover it up. CTV News has learned that three of the Tory 12, David Van Hammen, Chris Woodcock and Benjamin Perrin, all former PMO staffers, retained the legal services of three high-priced Toronto law firms, charging hundreds of dollars an hour, and taxpayers are footing the bill. The Justice Department should be looking after them, not a bunch of high-priced high Bay Street lawyers. Nigel Wright, the man at the centre of the Senate scandal, is paying his own legal fees. On our side, there is one person responsible for this deception, and that person is Mr. Wright. Harper has been distancing himself from Wright on TV, but not in print, acknowledging his trust in Wright in his recently published book. Nigel Wright assisted with advice. That bill to limit the Prime Minister's powers will be introduced on Thursday, raising more questions about how much support Harper has within his own caucus. Lisa. Another interesting day on Parliament Hill. Thanks for this tonight, Laurie. To put it all together now, CTV's chief political correspondent, Craig Oliver, joins us now. Craig, well, what are we watching here? A mutiny from the backbenchers? Mm -hmm. the, the optics seem so bad on this. Lisa, this is a revolt of the trained seals biting the hand of their trainer. Conservative backbenchers say they are the ones who are elected, not the people in the Prime Minister's office who dictate to them and call all the shots. Uh, they want respect for themselves and for the people that they represent. Publicly, Lisa, they're saying this is not a move against the Prime Minister, but privately they confess to a deep malaise over the way his office has mismanaged the Senate uh, shambles. Uh, and if the Prime Minister decides to try to whip them back into line, he could face a full caucus revolt. Well, we will see what happens next Thursday. Thanks for this tonight, Craig.